Trying to give it up. No space to operate with. Thanks to a laning war they had. They know the heroes are up here. They're going to go for the picks. Catching Kitrak, but not doing enough. They have the Chronosphere that's going to be able to grab all three, though. Plenty of follow up here for Game of Gladiators as they can keep it going with Inkswell, stopping the grab there at BZM. And one by one, OG will lose their trio here in the top lane. Ah, it's too greedy on the map. This hero is really good with the chakra magic. Double overpower, double clap. It's all good. And this Roche will eventually fall. It just got delayed, man. Game and not shying away from the fight, even with an Aegis. I think they'll be happy to take it if they can find a good opening. You just ink swell this shaker in, and he's almost 3,000 HP. Echo, Echo Slam with the ink swell, but they do have the swap to be able to bail out these heroes. Yuragi, meanwhile, goes for the back line, couldn't quite finish Ooh, off. Now it's going to be soul bound up. That is really bad he's for him. The Quinn, he can keep jumping after this one. They have the supernova to protect. A nice four staff gets him away from Quinn, who's still trying to land on top of these heroes, but the Hawk is keeping him at bay. OG successfully gets some spells out out of game and gladiators. Now jump back Ooh, in for the kill. Man, it finished up the Grim Show. Oh, jump in from Quinn. Not any, enough to finish up BZM. So look at the two kills, lose nothing for four. Call it a third triple kill for Yuragi. What a turn from OG. Beautiful fight here, and no Chronosphere in sight. Duracho unable to connect there. I mean.